If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Benjamin Franklin. Book name: Bachche badha kar apne pairon par kulhadi na mare. Don't burden yourself by increasing the number of kids excessively. Book introduction: The global population is fast approaching the 8 billion. These billion milestones are not hit every often but once every 12 or 13 years. Reaching 8 billion people for the first time ever allows us to pause and take stock of what we are, who we are and where we are. The population is a snowballing and we have already witnessed its implications in our daily life. The ever increasing gap between demand and supply is already troubling in ways more than one. We have grown exponentially since the birth of Jesus and are still continuing. It is very difficult to predict the future, but mathematics surely helps in forecasting and planning accordingly. It is only wise to use the models to forecast as without this we won't be able to plan or start anything new to counter the challenges hanging in front of us. Undoubtedly, the human race has made incredible advancements and developments in every field. The era we are living in is undoubtedly known as the era of progress. In comparison to the knowledge and facilities that were available to our ancestors, we have taken it to the next level. In terms of progress, this claim is valid. But the question now arises, has the progress been in the right direction? Growth is that sweet medicine that has its severe side effects as well. If going in the right direction, it is okay. But as soon it goes south, there is no looking back also. It won't be wrong to say that scarcity was not that bad. Given that we were more empathetic, happier, cordial in our behavior and nature. The environmental activists have also acknowledged this issue. Most people tend to focus mainly on short-term goals to enrich themselves and experience pleasure rather than give their full attention to environmental protection for long-term goals. It is for this reason that the planet is running out of resources. It is paramount for humans to know that our planet is a bounded system and no help from outside will come to assist the scarcity of natural resources that we are already experiencing. Glad to present a book that gives us a perspective to introspect the so-called growth and pause and analyze to rethink our claims. Few excerpts from the book. Number 1. What have we learned from the current progress? How much it has contributed to increasing human values, increasing mental, physical and social happiness and peace. This is something worth considering. Number 2. This is an aspect of progress that is visible to the eyes and is not rocket science to understand the horrors based on its direct results. Still, there are innumerable other pictures and destructive effects which hides under the veil. A situation like this put the commoner in a state of unfamiliarity. Number 3. In the whole world, if the production of anything is increasing the most, then it is that of humans. The second hand in the clock ticks here. While somewhere in the world, three children are born already. Few topics covered in the book. Gift of modern civilization, a population explosion more disastrous than an atomic explosion. Darkening clouds of destruction. Where will the luxury take you? Creative problem solving. Thank you.